Good morning. Today is the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and it is also the Feast of St. Robert Palamon and Catechetical Sunday. Now bear with me, because I will connect all three today. St. Robert entered the newly formed Society of Jesus in 1560, and after his ordination, went on to teach at Louvain, where he became famous for his Latin sermons. And lucky for you, my Latin isn't that good. One most famous work of his was the Catechism Book, composed in 1598. It received papal official Vatican approval from several popes, most notably Pope Clement VIII and Pope Benedict XIV. He is the patron of catechumens, catechists, canonists, and canon lawyers. Today, September 17th, is also Catechetical Sunday, whose theme this year is, Come to me, all who labor and are unburdened, which ties into what the saint of the day is of, the patron saint of catechists. For he loved to teach, and remember he also composed that catechism book that we still use today. I would be remiss if I didn't mention another who loves to teach, our very own pastor, Father Stephen, who is the Episcopal Vicar of Education of the Archdiocese of Newark, and is in charge of all areas related to Catholic Catholic schools, education, and faith formation within the Archdiocese of Newark. Happy Catechetical Sunday, and thank you, Father, and all the catechists at St. Elizabeth's. So what does the word catechetical mean? It means of or pertaining to catechesis. The word might be more familiar than you may think. Many Catholics have used this word catechism for years, and they knew it had something to do with the church's teachings. The root word catechesis is from a Greek word meaning to echo or resound. Catechesis is the act of resounding or bringing the church's teachings to the world. A catechist is one who teaches in the name of the church. I was happy to be a parish catechist leader and catechist for 17 years. People learn many different ways, whether it's through reading, writing, song, demonstration, by showing others, or even through visuals. I am happy to say that we are one of those parishes that are making the Bible come alive under Father Stephen's leadership. In today's Sunday's Gospel, Peter asked, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? And Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but 77 times. In Genesis is where these numbers come from. The Lord said, because Cain killed his brother Abel, he will avenge his death seven times. Lamech, a descendant of Cain, vows a 77 times vengeance on anyone who harms him. Jesus also said that seven times 70 times is how many times we are to forgive our brother. So let's do the math. Whether it's 70 plus 7 is 77, 70 times 7 is 490. Both are greater than 1 or even 7 times. Well, Lord, for some of my brother's sins, I'm already up to 491 times of forgiveness, and I've had it just about up to here. But get this. This is where Jesus said last weekend, if he does not listen, take one or two along with you. Oh, I see. 
something like this. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. Okay, maybe not exactly what Jesus meant, but we do live in Jersey, and while none of us lives for oneself, no one dies for oneself either. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. We are all to forgive our neighbor's injustice as the king first did, bearing in mind that our heavenly Father will give those who do not forgive the same treatment as, okay, not in the video, but was given to the unmerciful servant after he scolded the other servant, and we too will be held accountable for every last thing. In all cases, what is demanded of being a disciple of Jesus is unlimited forgiveness. Mamma mia. So in other words, we just have to forget about it. Yeah, why? Because the two greatest commandments of charity is pure love of Jesus' commandments. Love God first and second, our neighbor as ourselves. Remembering that charity is the last and greatest hope of the three theological virtues, the other being faith and hope. One of St. Robert Bellamine's quotes is, Charity is that which no man is lost, and without which no man can be saved. We should be charitable in our forgiveness of others so we all can be saved. So in good faith and in hope that you won't be lost, I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. No, it's not taking the cannolis, Father Jay. But this fall, we at St. Elizabeth's are going to make an offer to, to you to serve God and love your neighbor. And I know you're crying, what can I do? What can I do? Spend time with your church family? Good. By coming to St. Elizabeth's Ministry Fair and through an act of charity of joining one of our missionaries to bear the burden in giving others rest. Thank and think of all the forgiveness of Jesus that he will bestow on you when you lend a hand to another, especially those who sinned against you. And with a little luck, we can help it out. We can make this whole thing work out. With a little love, we can lay it down. Can't you feel the parish exploding? With a little love, with a little love, with a little love, a little love, a little love. And who knows, with a little luck, we might even throw in a few cannolis. <laughs> Amen.